played by Watson. <laughs> We're at the Winter Olympics in 40 minutes on BBC One, live with the men's Super G and the women's Downhill. The High Bright Sun will now be shown on March the 1st. It's the 20th century commandment. Do you want a divorce? Thou shalt not fail. We can put all this behind us and start again. This is paradise, isn't it? Have they found heaven? Where's Charlie? I have this terrible feeling. Charlie? There's something wrong. God's word is law here, and he speaks through me. <laughs> and his name is it. was death and hell. Neil Pearson and Geraldine Somerville. Hell is heaven on earth. Starts next Sunday at 9 on BBC One. Art Garfunkel and Teresa Russell experience some bad timing in tonight's cult movie drone on BBC Two in 15 minutes. Omnibus this season reviews the life of master musician Andre Previn, from early success in Hollywood to his glory days in London in the 60s and beyond, and celebrates this man's love for Gilbert and Sullivan and the international festivals he organizes to perform their works. This week, Irish film director Jim Sheridan and his upcoming film The Boxer, starring Daniel Day-Lewis. He's the kind of director that would give most producers a fit. Omnibus, next Sunday at 10.40 on BBC One. An age-old profession to defend or condemn. BBC One's at the heart of the matter now with Joan Bakewell. The oldest profession, it's been called. Nowadays, there's a movement to recognise prostitution as just that, a job like any other, with workers in the sex industry deserving the same labour rights and safeguards as everyone else. But is it just another job? Many think it degrades and exploits women, and that their clients are no better than sex abusers. So who's right? Part of the matter asks whether prostitution is a sin or just a steady income. Since 1985, have prostitutes customers